Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. I wanted to experiment with a random length end fed wire in the backyard. So I found uh, from Nelson Antennas on eBay a uh, 9 to 1 uh, matching transformer. And uh, there's a lot of good information on this page also. You can uh, build your own also, or there's several others out there. This is the setup I'm using here. I did cut some counterpoise wires to lay out on the ground and they connect to the ground side of the matching device here. And then my antenna wire is made up of a small gauge speaker wire is what I used and made this little holder for the wire. And I have 40 feet of wire is what I'm going to use as my random length. I can make up a little jumper if I want to connect the ground side to some other type of counterpoise or ground system. And on the hot side of the matching transformer, I connect the antenna wire here. And there is a lot of good information on the website that I mentioned. I'll leave a link below because uh, certain lengths of wire do work better on certain bands for when you're using a random length of wire. And this is a little closer view of my antenna wire and kind of how I made this up to connect quickly. Counterpoise wires are not pretty, but uh, they do work. I just lay them out on, across the ground and to make it simple today to deploy my antenna, I'm going to use this fiberglass uh, telescopic tower that I've had for many years. It goes up to about 30 feet. I've had this many years. As you can see, it's uh, really been weathered because we've used it many field days and we always get storms on field day. So I am missing the very top section here. I have a 12 volt battery pack that is fused and my Elecraft KX3 for portable HF operation running low power. So I'm going to extend my portable mast, lay it out, and this is how I connect the wire to the top section with this little eyelet. And I'm going to extend the pole up into the tree. As you can see, I'm going to have to cut this tree down one of these days. It's kind of sickly, but it, it works good for holding this uh, mast up here today. And I just let the wire slope down and uh, cross part of the yard as you'll see. And the pole is just sitting there uh, where the wind can't blow it down, kind of lodged into the tree. The wire slopes down in this fashion. And there just happens to be a couple of thumbtacks in the wall from something that was up there years ago. So I'm going to use those and uh, keep the wire elevated above the ground a little more that way. Should work out fine. So let's connect the antenna and the ground uh, radials or the counterpoise. I cut one for each band that I'm going to use at a quarter wavelength. And let's get on the air, see if we can make any contacts today with this. CQ20, CQ20, CQ20. This is WD0AKX, Whiskey Delta Zero Alpha Kilo X ray running QRP operating from the backyard. Does anybody copy? Here's a little test using the ground radios with and without. This isn't the full story. I can retouch the antenna tuner on the unit and it does bring the signal up more when the radials are disconnected than it seems here, but uh, still seems to be better with the counterpoise wires connected. Now the band conditions are not that great today. There was a solar flare earlier, but it's starting to improve here again. But I am making contacts. Hi Jack, uh, this is Whiskey Delta Zero Alpha Kilo X-Ray, Larry in Albert Lee, Minnesota. And I'm running a uh, portable antenna in the backyard here, uh, running about 10 watts, over. Yeah, Whiskey Delta Zero Alpha Kilo X-Ray. Uh, very good, Larry. Uh, you 10 watts is doing great in Minnesota. Uh, you got to do the follow up there, Larry. You're sounding good. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, just running a 40-foot random wire here on a pole and doing a little video here for it. So uh, thanks for the contact, and I have your information there. 73 WD0AKX. Yeah, we're going to all the best. Uh, good luck with the video. 73 BE6AO, Calgary Stampede Special Event. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar Romeo, India. So, so far with the antenna, it seems to be doing a fine job with the power I'm running for a portable antenna. Makes good uh, good antenna for preppers or portable operation, field day or in parks, that type of thing. 
It's something very simple and easy to set up quickly anyhow. So over the next few weeks, I will be doing more experimenting with this antenna in the backyard and maybe some of my other portable antennas, such as one of my loop antennas. So thanks for watching. 7-3 from WD0AKX.